India launched its maiden mission to Mars and the 50th anniversary as well for India launching its rockets. The first rocket India launched was an American Nike Apache rocket. For this Mars mission launch, for the very first time, an American ambassador, Ambassador Nancy Powell, watched the launch from the Mission Control Center. And I have with me Ambassador Nancy Powell to tell us what it meant to watch that launch and what it means for Indo-US relations. Ma'am, thanks for talking to us. Thank you. What was the feeling when you were in the Mission Control Center and you saw India's maiden mission to Mars lift off from Sheharikota? It was a real thrill for me on a personal level to see my first rocket launch. I had watched a lot of American rockets go from our television screens starting in the 1960s, but it was certainly a very impressive one to be in the control room as people prepared and started the countdown and then to be able to go in and stand on the balcony to observe the launch myself was, was an incredibly impressive event. And to my congratulations to the ISRO scientists and to all of those who have been involved in the, the Mars mission. Indo-US relations are on a new high, but we were estranged democracies <laughs> which have become now engaged democracies. You had the issue of the cryogenic engine. Now you have the issue of both countries working together. How has this transformation in relations come about? I think there are a number of factors, but I would say that science has always been one of those areas where we've found a way to cooperate. Um, many, many of your students that came to the United States early on were in the sciences, the medical sciences, the earth sciences, a variety of things. We also, and I'm very proud that one of my fellow Iowans was Dr. Borlaug, who helped with the Green Revolution with your scientists. And so science has always been a place where we have been able to bring our empirical knowledge, to bring our sense of order and cooperation. And I think that it has been one of those foundations that's allowed us to continue despite some of the disagreements over geopolitical issues, other issues. And I think the future is also very bright for science. Uh, again, the universities, the Obama-Singh Initiative, our ongoing dialogue in science, and our space cooperation. In space, from a point where the U.S. was denying technology to a point where you watched a rocket launch from India's rocket port, I believe there is the possibility of the two countries jointly making a satellite and launching it soon. What is happening on that? As you know, we, we also have a role in this mission with our Jet Propulsion Lab, uh, helping to provide some of the communications link as the, that is in the Mars the, mission. The Mars mission goes on toward Mars. The future looks at it, the possibility of doing um, a satellite uh, jointly that would look at Earth science. Uh, there are some important decisions to be made on both sides. Number one, we, have, we both have to find the money for it. <laughs> <laughs> which is so, always tough. Which is always tough, and, and particularly for both of our science uh, space budgets. But I think it has the potential for increasing not only our cooperation in looking at the Earth, but the impact of changes in, on climate and forests and, and sea um, levels and so this is an area where both of our uh, estab space establishments have agreed to take a hard look at what would be involved in this um, dual band satellite but it is a civilian effort it's a scientific research effort are you excited by what is happening in indo-us relations on the high technology front i'm excited by the whole spectrum um, spectrum is one of those science words <laughs> but, <laughs> but we've used it to talk about uh, just how wide our relationship is now, whether it's the traditional areas of education, or uh, whether it's high space science, um, it is evolving all of the time. We have more than 20 dialogues now. Um, I also, I like to talk about how the spectrum is growing, but it's also a wider spectrum. We're getting more colors in it, we're getting much more depth into our relationship as well as the breadth. Would you say we are getting into a new orbit in Indo-US relations? <laughs> we are talking of space. We're talking of space, and I know you need those boosters. So we're always looking for those boosters that make the orbit a little bit better. You're excited? 
Yes, very much so, and it's a pleasure to be here. But I think particularly, um, as I said, on a personal level, this was a tremendous opportunity to watch um, an outstanding science event. Um, as an individual sitting in the control room watching the professionals deal professionally, but what, with what had to be very, very tense moments as the various stages dropped off and the orbit was established, and then to see the enormous amount of celebration and relief and to see them take the call from the Prime Minister. Um, and so it was a very, very good day for space exploration uh, globally. So that was Ambassador Nancy Powell telling us it was a great day for space exploration in general and that Indo-US relations need boosters and they could well go into a new orbit, a new high. With camera person Narendra Godavli in New Delhi, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.